so good af good morning to all of you today we are continuing with the same topic with silver in our last class we have studied we had studied about the silver its uh, ores and its physical property so we continue the same topic with the silver that is the chemical properties okay so uh, we are not studying in detail lots of the chemical property but today we are going some of the chemical properties which is which may be asked in your exam so these properties we are going to study in this chapter so <clears throat> the first one is the reactions with sulfur when silver react with sulfur okay what will be produced so when silver react with sulfur then it produce silver sulfate that is so this is the reactions for the sulfur then if the silver is react with halogen so what are the halogens that halogens are chlorine bromine iodine etc isn't it so these are the halogen so what happens when the silver react with halogens then when silver react with let us take the example of chlorine so what happened silver react with chlorine it produce silver chloride that is silver salt we can say that so it is what that is 2 and 2 then will be 2 so silver chloride will be formed we call as the silver salt then what happens when it react with acids there are lots of the acid like h2so4 sulfuric acid hydrochloric acid nitric acid and h3 so it is see okay so what happen when it react with acid so we will take some of the example when silver react with con concentrate hydrochloric acid so or oh, sorry hydrogen sulfate so what will be happen when silver react with concentrate hydrogen sulfate so when it is react with concentrate hydrogen sulfate it will produce silver sulfate plus sulfur dioxide plus water okay it will produce because the amount of sulfate in, in the concentrate uh, acid will be more that's why the sulfur will be sulfur dioxide will be produced then if we balance the equations that will be then comes to the next example when it's react with hydrochloric acid so it require oxygen so without oxygen it does not react so for concentrate sulfuric acids from hydro hydrochloric acids when it react with concentrate hydrochloric acids in presence of air then it will produce silver chloride plus h2o okay we have to balance this one so the equation is balance so what we come to know that when silver react with concentrate sulfuric acids then it will produce silver sulfate that is silver salt plus sulfur dioxide and water again when it's react with hydrogen hydrochloric acid concentrate hydrochloric acid in presence of air in presence of air then it will produce silver chloride that is silver salt and water okay then if we see the what happened uh, to the uh, nitric acid so when silver react with concentrate nitric acid is NO3 is NO3 okay concentrate nitric acids then 
it will produce it will produce silver nitrate plus water plus nitrous oxide okay it will produce with in presence of concentrate nitric acid suppose without taking concentrate nitrous then we take dilute nitric acid then what happened HNO3 then what it will be produced then it will produce nitric acid nitric oxide plus H2O plus nitrous oxide NO so that is the difference only okay when it states a dilute then it will be a different so these equations is not balanced so we have to balance the equation so now it is balanced so in this way there are some of the chemical reactions which may be asked but it is mostly not asked over here only ores and the uses are being asked in exam so although there may be some time when uh, the examiner or the means the question center may want to know that they are studying the whole uh, things or not so they may uh, put it one of the questions from here that's why we have to go through this one also so these are the some of the chemical reactions which are uh, means found in silver now comes to the next one is the use of silver so what are the use of silver the first one is silver silver mostly we use in jewelry so uh, the gold means uh, mostly the silver is cheap uh, than the gold that's why most of the people prefer to use a jewelry of means silver likewise the uh, statue and so on of the gold god and the other one that uh, for the gift items also most of them are also made up of silver Likewise, the coin, which in previous uh, in previous times, when when uh, the different uh, means that is the alloy is not been treated at that times, uh, a pure gold and the silvers are being used as a coin. So in Nepal also, it was being used before uh, 2032. We can find some of the silver coin also. Okay, so these are used for making coin and the jewelry. So today also some of the um, female, mostly female use the jewelry in uh, Tharu community is mostly uh, the use ornament is made up of silver. Then the next one is the uh, use for silvering mirror, silvering mirror and filling the teeth. So the dentist also use uh, silver to put on the uh, means to fill up the teeth which are been uh, means uh, affected by the jumps and that was been filled up with the uh, silver then the next one is silver bromide it is a uh, silver bromide is been used in photography it was uh, nowadays it is a digital one but but previously it was the film has been there uh, in which we take for developing while developing the uh, uh, film and taking out <coughs> photograph at that time they are uh, means uh, react with silver bromides for uh, taking out the photograph so the other one that is been used in in mirror we are using the mirror in the back side of the mirror it is been coated with silver so that it reflect the ray of light so for making the mirror also the uh, the back side of the mirror it is been coated with the silver so these are the some of the uh, uses of the silver Lot, uh, lots of the other uses are also there uh, so, uh, so uh, it is so we have finished uh, about the silver over here so the next one we will go to the next metal and the last metal that in our chapter of class 10 that is our gold so tomorrow we will study about the golds its uh, positions its properties physical properties its chemical properties ores and its use so thank you to all of you